They say Mike's about to blow them. Tell me, tell me something that I don't know. With the crowd bouncing like bongos, you can come on the tour bus, just please no photos. Up there, I like Somo. Cause we be going off on the off nights. Cause I've been on, I've been on. Every single song I put my pin on, no, they don't know. Or maybe they starting to, cause I work so. Even after seven iterations of Android, the one thing that holds it back from iOS is software updates and fragmentation. And it is so because Android is an open source project maintained by Google. So it takes a quite a bit of time for OEMs to implement the newer version of Android into their own skin and into their into their own devices in their own ways. And that's what results in fragmentation and delayed updates. In fact, Google is trying hard to push OEMs to keep updating their devices to latest versions for at least two years. And these days, OEMs are kind of trying that, but only with their flagship devices. The budget devices and non-flagship devices are sometimes left out. So I was quite surprised to see Honor being very determined about their budget device 6X and sending a nice, good and weighted update for Honor 6X. So let's check out what they did. So I recently received this update for Honor 6X which is a very major update. Major in the sense that it, it has a bummed up Android version 7.0 Nougat and a bummed up EMUI version as well. Now it's interesting to note here that the kernel version of that device has also been updated. Now it's very hard to see an OEM doing this. Even my Nexus devices never received a Linux kernel version update. So why this update is, is very important is because it adds all the functionality from Android Nougat as well as the new EMUI which looks more modern, cleaner and, and resembles more to the updated Android guidelines. So you can see each and every application has been updated to this new white and um, kind of ink blue theme and uh, to be very honest it looks pretty nice. The icons have been revamped. The drawer has been revamped and the whole entire user interface of the device looks a lot cleaner and consistent. The status bar, the notification drawer has been updated as well. There has been a lot of updates and tweaks here and there to make this device even better. Now finally the device user interface looks a lot like Nugatera as compared to the earlier KitKat, KitKatish looking device user interface which is very nice to see. Also the most annoying thing about the device was you cannot swipe the heads up notification actually. Now you can do that and that has been fixed. Also the settings drawer was missing a battery tab and that has been ad added as well. So in my experience Honor went ahead and gathered all the public reviews and feedback from the device and patched everything that is possible and they have come up with an excellent software update for this device now with this software the device actually flies it has got all the things that you need in a budget device which makes it an even better choice for budget buyers considering that companies like Motorola after being acquired by Lenovo has not been able to deliver consistent software updates for their budget device Honor is definitely the new budget king but I will remember when I, when I met you in the summer and I came near town